Uh, your cache on your Mac uh, essentially is a whole bunch of uh, files that are created to speed up applications as they launch. So for example, if I'm opening up a, a particular application, let's say System Preferences, it's gone and created a file to sort of reference what this view looks like so that the next time I open it up, it should open up quicker than the previous time. So it's cached it or cached um, that particular registry. So going in and clearing out these, these files can improve the performance of your Mac as well. They are also taking up resources and taking up hard drive space on your Mac. So it's good practice to go in and clear them. There are two main places that I generally go out and clear out your cache or your cache, and they are from the library folders. These are folders that are on your Mac that are hidden, that you won't generally see them, but they're, they're easily accessible by going into go from your finder, right? Go, go to folder, and you wanna look up two little areas here. So you've got this little squiggly, squiggly line, which is above your tab key on your uh, keyboard, so shift, uh, and then the little apostrophe, forward slash library, forward slash, and okay. And what that's gonna do, that's gonna automatically go to the library folder on the active user. All right, so my active user is Emilio. So it's gonna go into there and find this library folder which is hidden, okay? You may wanna do this on every single user that you have on your Mac. So if you've got more than one user, log in to each individual user and go to that same go, go to folder and search for that and okay. And that will open up that user library. Now within here, you'll see I've got a folder called caches or caches. And in here, I've got a whole bunch of folders and files, which essentially contain information, metadata, they call it information and dummy data for a whole bunch of applications and files that I've got open or have opened in the past on my Mac. So going through here, selecting all of them, oops, selecting all of them and throwing them to the trash and deleting them could speed up your Mac, all right? You may wanna be very careful with what you're doing here because sometimes, um, essentially this contains preference information of your Mac. So. For example, if you've, got, if you've gone in and configured certain saved settings on an application to remember your passwords or remember certain configurations or settings or preferences, um, going into here can remove that. So you may need to reconfigure some applications in terms of preferences or your customization, um, but it can clear out a lot of the junk um, and speed up your Mac. So essentially just selecting you know, the things that you wanna delete, for example, throwing them into my trash and they've gone into my trash and then I can just go and empty it. Nice and easy. But good practice to go in, select everything and delete it. Now be careful when you are doing this. As I said, it can clear out information that you know no longer, or that you may not want to delete. So just be very mindful. Only really do this if your Mac is running very, very poor. The other thing is the other area you can search for your cache is to go into go, again, go to folder, remove that little squiggly line and just forward slash library and okay. And that is now gonna search and open up the library folder on your root hard drive. On the actual Macintosh hard drive, there's also a folder called library and there's also a folder called caches or caches. Similar to that other folder, you can select all of this and delete it. Now in this case, it's gonna ask me for my ID for my, for my touch ID, which I've got my fingerprint, or you can put in your password and that'll remove it. And you may not actually be able to empty your trash until you've rebooted your Mac, okay? So just be mindful of that. So go ahead and delete those files and folders if you so want to. All right, again, as I said, be very mindful when you are deleting these caches or caches, uh, because it does contain preference information for certain applications and files. So only really do this if, you're, if your Mac is performing very, very poorly. Like my video, comment below, subscribe to my channel, and I hope you found this video helpful and we will talk to you next time. So if you found that video helpful, please like it and subscribe to my channel, Digital by Computing, just on the button there for more videos.